My name is Rosario Ponte, and I'm very, very glad that I've been chosen to teach you how to do a portrait drawing. And um, I'll be specific about the steps we are going to be doing because I want to share all the knowledge that I have and to be very practical about all this process. I'm going to teach you about different ways to do a perfect drawing because the main thing is the measurements. So I have this sample over here of a drawing that I did with charcoal and you might need for the uh, presentation and your activity uh, charcoal, a ruler, cloth, and uh, your hand because uh, we are going to get dirty. So this is a drawing that I did as an example so you can see beginning to end and this is the painting that I did with the drawing. As you can see, you cannot change it. This is it. Once you measure and you know exactly the likeness, it's fine, then that's what you are gonna transfer in the painting. I'll show it to you um, again at the end. But everything, every good painting or the best painting they start with a good drawing. So the first thing that we make mistakes, when we wanna start a face, we wanna do an egg, but that's not the way to do it. The way to do it is from inside out. You don't do any global or oval, you don't do anything like that. You measure, and I'm gonna tell you how to do it. If I do a measure like this, ah, okay, she measures, perfect, I go. And then I come back and I do this. The measurements are completely different. So this is the way to do it all the time. If you are gonna be sitting, the sitting, the chair cannot be moved back or forward because the measurements are gonna change, okay? So one way to do it is I have that image in front of me, lock my elbow, and I'm start to measure it from the hairline to the highest part of the eyebrow. That means from here to here, the highest part. Then, from the eyebrow to the bottom of the nose, the very bottom of the nose. And from the bottom of the nose to the chin. All right? Those should be, as a rule, three equal parts. When you get to the third part, that part, you divide it in half, and that will be the measurement of the lower lip. Those lines are the ones that are gonna tell you where the eyes goes, where the nose goes, where the lips goes, and you can never change, because we need to erase but we cannot erase the hairline and the chin that stays the whole time the same. Otherwise, the measurements are not gonna work. So you can change, for instance, oh, I did the, the nose too long. That's okay, you erase, you make it shorter, but you are gonna use different tools to be sure, to make sure that you are doing the right proportions. To start, I will suggest um, to use a charcoal pencil because it's to control. Also, the way you get, when you draw, you don't, you're not writing 
you are not writing. You are drawing. And for drawing, you need to be loose. And you need to use the farthest to the point, the better. Once you do this with the charcoal, this you can spread. And look at the way it sticks. It totally sticks to the grain of the paper. Okay? You can use also something like this, something like this, because you can spread also. It's a different way, but it also can work. And this is a piece of leather. It makes it lighter in case I went too dark. Okay, so here um, we're gonna do um, a sketch of this beautiful model. And um, I'll, I'll try to do, um, following the steps that I show you, I'm gonna use um, the pencil because I'm very close to her. I don't need to measure big spaces. So I can go like this and use the top of the measurement is gonna be the tip of the pencil. And whatever I wanna measure, I'm gonna do my nail. In this case, it's gonna be, I need to be standing in the same spot. So all the measurement will be the same, elbow, lock. This pencil cannot be like this, or like this, or like that. This pencil needs to be Pretend you have a glass in front of you and you cannot tilt that pencil because it will give you a totally different measurement, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and lock my elbow, one eye, I'm gonna look with one eye only, and I'm gonna put the tip on the hairline and my nail, on the highest point of the eyebrow. I'm measuring, okay? This is one measurement, that's another measurement. If it's the same, great, but usually it's not. So I got already with one eye, hair, line, eyebrow. I stay like this because I'm measuring, and I want to see if the eyebrow and tip of the nose is the same measurement. In this case, the tip of the nose is a little bit more down, okay? And then from the tip of the nose, Yeah, it's a little bit different. So the way I'm gonna start is the way I taught you, because remember, top and bottom never change, but the middle changes, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and see, well, I'm gonna do, you wanna use like 75, per, at least 75% of the space that you have to be able to do a good composition, right? I want to use this space in a, in a good way. And uh, you can have your model also to do like a three quarters instead of front. You can do whatever you want in your model. So I'm going to do um, what it doesn't need to be measured, the top. I'm going to do it really light because I want to be able to erase or accommodate whatever. So I want to do her like uh, maybe something like this. This I cannot change, right? So I'm gonna go ahead. This is the hairline, remember? And we said that this needs to be divided in three. Three sessions. Okay, let's say, let's say if I do, one, 
see, if I do one and a half, one and a half, I want to do a little bit bigger. One and a half. And one and a half. So it needs to be a little bit bigger so the three spaces can fit. Because this is just the beginning. Okay? So the real line is going to be that one. The real lines are going to be this and that. Okay? We said that the forehead is going to be there. The eyebrows are going to be there. In her case, if I go straight like this with one eye, I can see that the right eyebrow is higher than the other one. So when I measure, I measure the in between the high and the low because She's at three quarters, so everything changes. So when I measure like this, uh -huh. okay. So the first one, I'm gonna go ahead and do a long line, very light, okay? And then I find that the measurements, she has a small forehead, so from the other, yeah, she's more than that. Yeah. So from the forehead to the nose, um, she has a little bit longer. A little bit longer. So I erase. Yeah, charcoal is difficult to erase. So very light, OK? So I'm going to go ahead then and do, um, she has the nose, she's a three-quarter, remember? She's not in front. So like a three-quarter over here, and the eyes are going to be here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do something like this. I'm going to go ahead now and do, I did the horizontal measurements but I want to do now the vertical. So I, the first one is the outside line, the farthest one. And if I go straight, I can see that the lower cheek is the part of her face that is a little bit more out. The rest of the face is coming in totally in, okay? So um, I need to measure and do uh, lengthwise, uh, horizontal and vertical, and compare which one usually, of course, is longer than wider, but we never know, and we need to measure, okay? So in her case, I'm going to measure the whole face, which is this, and then if I go across, I find out that the measurement, the same measurement, is the measurement of the cheek, the, the widest cheek, to the end of the ear. So I got that measurement, and remember, this doesn't mean this. This is another scale. If I go like this and then try to do it in here, this is the size of the face. But I'm doing it a little bit bigger, so everything changes, okay? So if, I, if my face on my drawing is this length, I just found out that the width is the same 
up to the ear, the end of the ear, okay? And the top of the ear goes along with the bottom of this eye. So it will be here. All of this should be in shadow. The more I see in her, the more I can get familiar with her lines. Remember, inside the eye should be very dark. No light. The light that hits in here is not the same. The beginning of the lips in the right side I imagine a plumb line, and it goes with the beginning of the eye. The eraser is an extremely good tool because uh, you can draw with the eraser and do many, many things. And the lower lip is light, then this shadow makes, makes the lip. The bottom line, like I said, you don't draw. It's light and shadow all around. Always, light is never next to light. Light is always next to shadow. Shadow, light, light, shadow. Every time, and that's the way you build. Sometimes you wanna erase like spotting you know, when I raise the whole thing, because that gives more interest to the drawing also. Remember the eyelid gives a shadow to the white of the eye. That's why it cannot be white. The white of the eye cannot be white. It doesn't make sense because it's inside an orbit. Her highlight is around here. So that I will leave the color of the, of the page. The rest is gonna be very light. But I'm, what I'm doing with the light and shadow is I'm doing the uh, perspective um, because you can see things in front of you and other ones in the back. Um, all this in here, since it's the neck, is shadow. You hardly see the line, the jaw line, you hardly see it because it's connected with the, with the neck, 
But you see in the very beginning, you do see it. Remember, if you don't see the shadow, you need to squint because at the beginning, everything looks the same. But once you start drawing and making um, the darkest, you start seeing magically. You start seeing that there, there are shadows and there are different levels of shadows. One, two, three, four. Sometimes by working in the negative space, negative space of the ear is the hair, okay? So sometimes working in the negative space all around, you get what you want. In this case, I'm doing the ear by darkening the negative space, which is the hair. Believe it or not, but the background of the hair is important. But the hair, you don't do this. One, two, three. You do all in blocks, like if it was a tangerine, the segments of a tangerine. In this case, I'm doing this because all I can see is dark, but usually, you know, you do segments and cover instead of hair, hair, hair. Since um, I cannot finish up to the end because of the time, I'm just going to go ahead and do something like this and like this really quickly to show you that the shadows are so important. The light, remember, is over here. And more or less, all of this is in shadow. Shadow, shadow. This is a very helpful tool when you are doing this. Like I said, you can change this, but never this and this. But you can change everything inside and um, the more you go in this, the more details you can do and the more uh, likeness you can do. I hope all these tricky things that I show you, you never forget, starting with squinting the eye. It is really, really important. And whatever you do with your partner, your partner will do with you. You make turns. And I wish you good luck. And like I said, my name is Rosario Ponte and it was a real pleasure doing this because I love teaching.